Welcome back, friends of Godot. In this video, I will create a short demonstration of time slowdown in a scene, which can be used as an effective trick in your game, especially when it comes to a fast-paced action game. Let's get started. This time, I'll be very brief and dive straight into coding. Once again, I'll be building upon the space shooter we created in my 17 part tutorial, which you can also find on my YouTube channel. However, the principle of the time slowdown is the same in any project, so the knowledge gained from watching this video can be applied whether you're working on anything else. So, if you want to save some work and dive right into experimenting with this effect, call my GitHub project from the URL provided in the video description and import this project into Godot 4. First, let's take a look at how Godot actually handles time. That's right. For the basic implementation, the property timescale in the class engine is all you need to change the time pace. This property determines the speed at which the in-game clock progresses in comparison to real-life time. Its default uh, setting is 1.0. When set to 2.0, the game runs at double the speed of real life, while a value of 0.5 means the game operates at half its regular pace. Let's see what happens if we set the value to 0.5. So I'll do it at the end of the ready function of the main script. Engine time scale is 0.5. Let's start the game. Let's the start. Yeah, clearly slower than before. You can see and everything else is slowed down uh, to the half speed. Let's quit. And what if, for instance, uh, we set the speed to the double value? 2.0 and start again. That was pretty impressive, wasn't it? But of course, we don't want to play the entire game at the changed speed. It would be much better if the speed changed smoothly and only after performing some action, like picking up a power-up object or pressing a certain key. Let's add a simple function to the code that, when the R key is pressed, starts slowing down the game until it reaches 30% of its original speed, and when the T key is pressed, it gradually returns to the original state. I think a simple tween is very suitable for something like this. Okay, I'll start with uh, deleting this line as we don't need it any longer and defining new entries in the action map, uh, input map. So the first one will, let's call it slow speed. The second one, restore speed and we'll bind them to the first one would be R and the restore speed we'll be talking about T very well this is prepared let's do uh, some code first I'll define a new variable original speed is true this is simply a flag to determine whether the speed was changed or not so we don't slow it uh, several times in a row which could simply go to uh, zero or even some more bizarre uh, values so this is ready and now we'll add the functions first func slow speed and let's check the status first so if it's at the original speed, we want to do this effect and set the flag to false so we don't do it accidentally again. Not before the uh, <laughs> sorry, the speed is restored. 
and now we define the tween is get node and no 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 get nodes sorry get three of course typing too fast and create tween and now we will define the tween tween's property tween tween property and we want to change the property of the engine class the property is called time scale and our target value would be yeah i'd be talking about 30 percent but after some experiments i realized that 10 percent is actually much more effective so let's put it 2.1 the target value and we'll do it over three seconds that's all we need to do in this function and now i'll copy paste and create uh, the restore speed function restore so this time if not original speed we'll set it to true tween we do it again for the same property of the same class but this time we are doing it in the opposite direction so the target value is one and uh, we definitely want to no no this should be okay and now we of course need to activate these functions from the process function on the particular key press so we'll add it here if uh, input input is action just pressed we just press it only once slow speed <coughs> let's call slow speed and if input is action just pressed restore speed let's restore the speed okay i think this should work let's try it out okay normal speed speed pressing r and slowing down okay this is something like a bot time do thing pressing t and it's getting back good by the way you have probably noticed that while time has slowed down the sounds were still playing at the same speed this might be intentional for some use cases of course however if you wanted to similarly affect the audio component in your game we can utilize the playback speed scale property in the audio server class we'll add the corresponding code to our functions so first uh, we will we will be animating two uh, properties of two different classes so let's create two tweens there might be a better solution of course but uh, for the purpose of this video this definitely works let's do it twin2 and the twin2 would change the property of audio server uh, audio server and the property is playback speed scale uh, speed scale and let's keep it at the same um, same um, properties as for the time scale of the engine and of course we need the same for the restore speed function so let's copy one one two two and getting back to normal speed all right i think that could work most likely let's try it sound is too, so slow that it's, it's barely, it can be barely heard. And pressing T to get back. Cool! 
by the way, uh, this code is not perfect and there are certainly ways to improve it in various aspects, but uh, it should be sufficient for understanding how Godot handles time. So, I hope you like this effect and you will find a use for it in your own projects. By the way, I would like to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has purchased my book on game development in Godot 4, which you can now see on the screen. If you'd like to join them, I would be very pleased. And please note that I'm providing 50 pages out of a total of 300 completely free for download. Just visit the website, which I also mention in the video description. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.